We're kicking things off immediately here tonight on Future Foundation as Jacob Ali just got shoved off the stage before the show during the entrances prior to the show and he's starting things off. He's absolutely heated here as he immediately attacked Dante Dinsmore before the bell even rang. Well, not before the bell rang, but as soon as the bell rang, he charged the ring and hit Dante with that pump form. The butterfly suplex was not enough right at the beginning of the match here. The open challenge done by, da well, by Jacob Ali here. Dante with a hammer strike to the face from the top. It's shoved away by Ali, who's, he was the plan to, he's, I mean, was, I mean, he is the planned opponent for Jaden Young, his tag partner at the pay-per-view Wrestle Wars. But tonight he's fighting Dante Dinsmore, the legacy roster member at that. As now the knee to the face, cover one. Dante with a reversal, blocks that strike, gets him in the collar elbow. No. Oh, wait a minute. Caught him before he could swing through. Slam into the corner and tosses him aside. Dante working at the legs. He's got to take out the base. It's going to make it a lot harder for him to flip and fly around the ring. Once again, taking out that knee as he's going to snap the thigh and knee there. Taking out limb for limb as Jacob Ali stuck on the mat here. Dante goes for the stop. No, kick to the face. And a big knee to the head. He had a, a burst of energy at the start of the match, but at the moment, things are in Dante's favor as the jawbreakers, he's trying to mount some offense. No, the boot to the gut by Dinsmore. Sends him into the corner here. Charges in the forearm, sends him to the middle of the ring. And a big clothesline to the back of the head. Cover attempted here. One, two, no. Jacob Ali kicks out at two, but he kips up. Gets caught as soon as he gets up to his feet, though. Yeehaw. Big clothesline. Keeping on him. Irish whips him over the rope. No, back in. What's up? Picks him up from the knee. Big right forearm to the face. Ali finally getting a little bit more of offense in this matchup, and that's a good sign for him in this one. Oh, but an elbow to the gut. Dinsmore caught from the body punch, gets one of his own. Big slap. Irish whip into the corner. Ali taking a breather, charges in, big knee to the jaw. Double stops. He tried for the third, but Dinsmore with a boot to the gut. Oh, and a big drop kick to knock him down hard. Oh, tried to drop kick out the knee, but he was able to block it, or to check it more so. And then, oh, the deadlift into that suplex. One. Only a one count, Dinsmore having it roll to the outside, and oh, it was too, too slow to get out of the way as Ali with that dive to the outside. Big clothesline rolls out of it. Big drop kick by Ali. Oh, Jacob Ali to the top. To the outside, he's thinking something big here. Big neck breaker on the floor. And he's going to follow it up with another neck breaker on the outside. Oh, Dante, though, back up to his feet. The punch to the face caught him with a boot. Big flatliner, and he's got him still. Oh, the coat of silence locked in. I think that's the code of silence at least. Oh, elbow to the face. Dinsmore sending a message here, or trying to at the very least, as he gets caught. Another backbreaker, neckbreaker combo. 
that was a count of six if we bring the match back into the in into the ring dante back up caught him fireman carries him up on the shoulders no jake Bali drops down behind crosses the legs fisherman brain buster on the knee and the flatliner onto dinsmore cover one two no Lifts him up for one more move here. This could be the difference maker. No, blocks it. Blocks his punch back. Tazplex. Taking him up. Getting a running start here. Misses that, that shotgun. Oh, big elbow to the face. Dante Dinsmore has him lined up from the top. What is he thinking? Cross bodies him. No flips, but he was able to get some height on that one. Catches the legs here. Going back after that knee again. He's going to try to take him out from the, from the lower end. And just like earlier, repeating the steps. If it ain't broke, don't fix it as he took out the knee, went straight for the arm, and now, what the hell is that? What the hell was that? Some great technical ability there by Dinsmore. And a little bit more ruthless aggression there as he just whips his head down to the mat. Frustration setting in as he's just building, building a lot of hatred here as he goes back at the legs. Ali takes him away. Touch to the head there. Ali gets caught with a punch to the gut, though. Dinsmore catches him, sends him into the ropes. Oh, close line from hell. And now Dinsmore picks the ankle, but no, he shoves him away. Close line rolls out. Top now, and the punches to the face of Dinsmore. With a nice slap to the face to top it off. Going right back after the shoulder. Dante wisely this time getting to the outside. But like we saw earlier, it could be to the detriment of himself as Ali can fly! Oh, the big elbow to the face again, though. Oh no, German suplex! He's gonna let Ali get in the ring, I think, here. Oh, he caught him off guard, but Ali still was ready. Sends him into the ropes. Drops under. Dragon suplex with a high bridge. One, two, no. Dante. Trying to get out of the way, but gets caught. Ali with the chops. Diamond cutter into a dragon sleeper, but a rope break. Oh, Dante with a kick to the head. Has him. Snapmare takedown. Off the ropes he goes, and a big PK to the chest. Cover. One, two, no. Dante does not know what to do at this point. Picks him up. Ankle pick once again blocked. Oh, punch shot, Lariat. One, two, three. The buckshot lariat to finish him off. One, two, and three there. Here is your winner, Jacob Ali. Congrats to Ali. It looks like he was busted open at some point, unless I'm seeing something wrong there. Looks like it, though. I don't recall him getting busted open, but yeah, he's busted open.
Could have been from the fall from the stage and, uh, you know. Nonetheless, let's move on to our next match. Here we go, the debut of Luna Asher here tonight. She's taken on former pure champion, the Sherry Dawn. The contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from England, Lane A. Ashley. Luna Asher signed not too long ago and making her debut for the first time. Well, making her way to the ring for the first time here in VPW. And I can't wait to see how she does on the roster. And of course, like I said, Cherry Bomb, one third of the Daybreak faction and a former pure champion. That inverted bloody Sunday smashes her head into the mat repeatedly there. Stomps the face. Luna gets out of the way. Gets out of the way of the punch attempt there. Gets the collar and elbow, but gets caught and sent into the corner. Haluva kick. Alabama slam, but got caught. No, elbow to the face. <laughs> Javon with the kicks, goes for that forearm, gets blocked. Luna with the forearm, gets around with the wrist lock and the heel kick. Goes to the outside, but comes back in. Sending Cherry Bomb to the floor. <laughs> the 
Acuna as for the moment in the driver's seat but took a little long on that grapple attempt and I was going to say was able, wasn't able to follow up but seems like neither of them really on the next uh, in the next gear here more specifically Luna turns her around has the sleeper hold locked in on Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb with a stunner. Gets the gut by Luna. Gets the color and elbow to Cherry though. Sends her to the corner. Luna kick again. Sends her to the ropes. Gets the hip toss. Charges in for the cover here. No surprise there. A nice maneuver, but not a big enough maneuver to win the match here. Cover. Rope break though. Oh, wait a minute. Was it a rope break or did she uh, not allow the pin to even begin? Has her on the outside, goes for the STO, but Cherry Bomb able to reverse it and now boot to the gut by Luna though. Her legs just collided with the announce desk there. That's uh, a bit unfortunate for her. Got a two count there. Luna in trouble here. Boot to the gut. And the Impaler. Forget what it's called, but she hits it nonetheless. Cover. One, two, no. Luna's able to kick out at two. Luna 
shoves her off. Up to her feet here. Gets caught with the knee shot and all the strikes. A big forearm to the face. She doesn't seem to be uh, doing so well here. Jordan sends it to the floor. Following up by charging the outside and tries for that Botox injection and he was not allowing it. here what is this oh just pulling her pulling her sh like arms up while standing on her hair that's just a very aggressive count of seven is Luna Taking her time on the outside, doing extra damage. Slapped to the face, rocked her into the barricade. And Luna, as you see there, it's a very, it's very easy to be confused as she started taunting there as soon as the 10 count went. It's uh, not incredibly common from my understanding for a lot of shows to have 20 counts. So that, that 10 count, she thought it was over, but, but there was 10 more to go. Drops over the face bus to cover. And Luna was able to get out at two there. And gets out of the grapple there. And now the Kawada kicks, big one to the face. Tries for the boot to the gut. Elbow to the knee. Luna chokes the challenger. And Cherry Bomb gets taken down with that well, the ES2, yeah, STO. Cherry Bomb. He's out of the way to stomp. Luna charges in. Doesn't really hit anything. Boot to the gut. Asher sends her into the ropes. No, nope. pulls her back. Cherry Bomb reverses. Drops to the knee, but gets the punch. Close lines are down. And again, close lines are down. Cherry tries for the kick. Catches the leg. Sweeps the other. Boot to the gut by Cherry Bomb. Boot to the gut by Asher. Ash whips into the ropes. Luth has press and the head smashes into the into the mat. And again, just smashing her head into the mat. Up, fireman carry no elbows to the side of the head by Cherry Bomb. Irish whoops and a knee trembler that Cherry strong style knee. Oh, Botox injection gets blocked, gets the grapple takedown, pulls her down again. We saw this on the outside. We're going to see it again as she steps on the hair and just pulls away. Luna follows her to the outside. Ash 
Fisher staying on top so far. Back in the ring now. Waiting for Cherry to get back in. Oh, okay. Cherry sends her into ropes for that, uh, that attempt there. Blocks the grapple. Blocks the forearm. Luna Asher gets caught with a boot to the gut. Cherry with a knee shot. Forearm gets blocked. Jesus Christ, they're going back and forth. Super kick. Back up to her feet. Springboard drop kick to Cherry. One, two, no. Big kick to the lower back. And follows up with a stop to the arm. Cherry strong style, knee to the face, and Luna staggers into the corner. Cherry charges, a Luna kick. Following up that Huluva kick with the face busters, or the double knee face buster, like whatever, one, two, no. Luna once again able to kick out, but how much longer? Can she stay in the match? Into the gut, the Impaler DDT. Cover now. One, two, three, and the returning Cherry Bomb picks up the win. Taking out the new debut in the first, well, in her first match, not allowing her to get a big win in the Here in her debut. Winner, Charlie. However, congrats are in order for Cherry Bomb. as we move on to our next matchup. That's definitely an interesting thing you could say there, Joe. Trevor Hannibal, more like Trevor Hannibal. Uh, here we go.
This matchup is uh, surprisingly the the basis of this matchup is unrelated to what's been going on over on Legacy. As Trevor Hannibal, as you see him on the far right there, he has a match against Joe Blade. But as you see, Trevor's being flanked by Jacob Wells contest. and Hunter Quinn of the it's clergy. Four, one fall, making his way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 235 pounds, the hardcore icon, Trevor Hannibal. As I was saying, being flanked by members of the clergy, which uh, Justice Stone wasn't about to let Joe Blade come to the ring alone, so he's out. He's going to be out here to accompany Joe Blade here. But even with Justice Stone, they're at an, a, a major disadvantage with uh, one person still missing to even the odds. That person, I think, would have been Brandon. However, Brandon's out with an injury right now after the world champion was attacked by Jacob Wells and Hunter Quinn before the last episode last episode of Legacy. They put him through hell in an assault backstage and then slammed his hand in a car door. And then tonight, Joe Blade and Trevor Hannibal, I believe, facing off for the first time. But Justice Stone making his way to the ring with Blade after last episode on the last episode of Legacy. Justice Stone had a match against Hunter Quinn and Un Justice Stone from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 265 pounds. Joe Blade. An unscheduled match, I should say. A match that he was not prepared for whatsoever. Put up one hell of a fight, but still lost to Hunter Quinn. No, and right now, Joe Blade, again, as I can't stress it enough, they're one man short in this battle that they're currently having. And Joe Blade, he's had enough history with the clergy, whether it's been in or out of the clergy, or with them or against them. He's had so much history. Same with Justice Stone. He's had enough history with Jacob Wells alone that you could write a book about it, but that's against, well, that's besides the point. Joe Blade, I don't think he wants to be a part of a war. He's already had his war with the clergy. I, I'm pretty sure he's done with it. However, at the moment, he may be done with the clergy, but they're not done with him as Trevor Hannibal sets his sights and instantly with the forearm smash as soon as the bell rings. But Joe reverses the top mount into some hammer fists of his own, or hammering blows, I should say, in general. He lifts up Hannibal, punch to the gut, gets the strike combination in the headbutt. He drops the other to the, the inner leg there on the knee or so. Now going after the other leg with that knee DT. Hannibal gets back in the ring but gets caught and sent into the corner. Spear into the buckle is now Joe with a belly to belly on Hannibal. Catches him now for the vertical suplex. Trevor, though, drops down behind, goes for the waist lock, but gets caught, and then the chop block to the knee. Mike is down into the handstand. Splash, cover one, kick out at one, though. And I just want to say it now, just in case it's gone uh, not over your heads, but maybe you hadn't noticed or paid attention. Jacob Wells wearing that Top Guns hoodie. Oh, but a powerbomb to the floor, Jesus. As I was saying, that Top Guns hoodie in reference to his tag team with Justice Stone over on our partner shows, LGF and BFI. But they're not friends here tonight. Trevor 
chops, repeatedly chops to the chest as he takes out the knee. And I think he might have stomped on his nose, and there's a lot of real estate there for the nose. Round of seven, Hannibal lifts him up. I think he's inviting him back in the ring. I mean, he got caught. He's into the ropes, tries for that rolling elbow, but was too slow on the rotation. Fireman Carey has him up. Snake Eyes in the corner, Blade looks to follow up. Kick to the gut and tried for another one, but a reversal there. Move the gut. Hannibal though catches him, sends him into the corner, or no, the ropes. Misses the grapple. Oh, knife edge top reverse. Trevor's, he's getting the reversals he needs, but he's not acting on them as quickly as he should. Knife edge chop gets the collar and elbow, boot to the gut. Gut wrenches him for a suplex, but no, Hannibal goes behind, waist locks him, no elbow to the head. Has him up. Smash into the buckle, tosses him aside. The God of Extreme is having a hard time here, but he shoves him away. Hannibal now, head butts him down, but he's not letting go. Again, and a one big one to stop it. As Tre Trevor forcing Joe to go to the outside. Trevor's going to follow him. Oh, big punch to the head. And oh, wait a minute. Gut wrench into the German suplex on the floor. Jesus. And a little show from what happened earlier. The gut wrench suplex of his own. As Joe tried to do this earlier, not able to do it, but Trevor showing him how it's done, sends him flying for that last one. Oh, but an even got by Blade. Sending him somewhere, but not anywhere. Trevor gets back in the ring. Joe gets caught with the waist lock. Tiger suplex. Chops the face, tried for a second one. Joe, I think he tried for another chop block that was not allowed. Hannibal, though, sends up to the ropes. Pop up, power bomb. One, two, no. Blades able to kick out at two. Now the Omega driver on the way. As you see the welts appearing on Blades' body from the chops. The head's gonna feel some damage from that Omega driver. One, two, no blades able to kick out of two. Trevor reverse, he turns him around. Waist locks him, Tiger suplex again. No, Joe this time. Oh, stomps the foot. I him into the ropes. Blade oh, catches him for the spine buster. Oh, wait a minute. Big man going up top. For the elbow drop. One, two, no. Blade got, I think he got caught before he could go for that spear, but there it is. Two, no, kick out at two as Wells and Hunter are looking on there with a little bit of a worry in their eyes as now Joe sent into the corner with a knee lift to the face. Oh, and just straight into the boots, washing the face. Just a stone still watching on intensely here as the boots the face could that be it one no oh another boot to the face 
as Joe busted open. Holy, you could see the blood pouring as the DDT from the Canadian rack. Pulls him back up the knee to the face. Blade still coming back to his feet though. Sends him into the corner. I think I know what Joe's gonna try to do here. Yes, we've seen him do it before. And we're gonna see him do it again. Pulling him up to the top. For the awesome ball. Cover. One, two, no. You've got to be kidding me. Trevor kicking out of the awesome bomb and getting out of the way. Blade from the top. Dives to the outside with a big clothesline. Trevor Moore blocks that grapple. Tries to block punches, but he got caught with the grapple anyways. Flips over and the suplex on the floor. I think so. The real hidden blade was the one that learns how to climb to the top rope. Lifts him up, what is this? The clothesline keeps the wrist locked here. Lifts him up again for another clothesline. And a third final clothesline on Hannibal who gets out of the way of that stop. Oh my God. Big clothesline to the back of the head. Deadlift for the power bomb. Oh, wait a minute. Flips him up. Knee to the head. Oh, Jesus. Atomic drop by Hannibal. Joe gets caught with a big boot and a big boy sent on. Overhand chop gets reversed. Joe Blade. Lifts him up into the fireman carry. Wait a minute, roll up. Roll up by Trevor. Roll up by Trevor. One. Go. Slow things back down as he started to pick up the pace with that, that sunset flip reversal of the military press, but slows things back down to a screeching halt as Joe crawls his way to the buckle to try to escape. Oh, boot to the gut, though. Big drop kick to the head. Boot to the gut by Hannibal. Arch whip into the corner. Blade could be thinking another powerbomb. No, misses the spear. No, a roll-up has never worked in UPW, at least not this year. Hannibal gets caught with that shoulder breaker as you see the blood really starting to spread on the face of Joe Blade. Rolls out of the way. Oh, caught him. Wait a minute. Snap suplexes him. I thought he was going for something else there, but no. Joe now deadlifts him up. The choke slam. Oh, but he trips him up. Oh my, no straight jacket, German on the floor. Follows up with a half and half suplex on the floor. Joe Blade out of instinct trying to get back up, but Trevor is telling him to stay down. Handle the back, takes him down hard. Drops the elbow. Wait a minute. Oh. He decided not to get involved. That Yuranagi on the floor, though. I think it was just enough of a distraction to uh, give Trevor an opening. Who to the gut? Oh, we've seen it before. Oh, wait a minute, though. Trevor drops down behind, takes out the knee. Wait a minute, what the hell was that about? I'm not playing it, so I don't know why it popped up the HUD there. 
Nonetheless, he got distracted for a minute, and Hannibal taking advantage. Turns him around. Omega driver for a second time. One, two, three. The numbers game was just too much for Joe Blade here tonight. Like I said, Joe Blade got distracted by Hunter Quinn or Jacob Wells for just a moment there. Just long enough for, for Trevor Hannibal to come in Here's and pick winner, up the win. The hardcore icon, Trevor Hannibal. And Joe, Joe Blade and Justin Stone, having they're going to have to regroup here as Justin Stone is yelling yelling something on the ring on the outside of the ring and we can't really tell what he's saying but he's clearly frustrated as we're going to move on from there to our next match The following is scheduled for one Here we go. Goal. Speaking of a Ladies debut from three. earlier tonight, from we got Las another Vegas, debut here Nevada. right now. In, Jackson Knight making his way to the ring here. Jackson Knight. Jackson Knight signed a few batches of uh, signings ago, but makes his debut tonight against former world champion, former Intercontinental and X Division champion, FD3. be seeing him in the running for the Intercontinental Championship soon enough. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, F.D. As I said during uh, Jackson Knight's entrance, former world champion, intercontinental champion, and X division champion right here making his way to the ring.
I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I got to go to the bathroom, but I'll let the match play out.
I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I'm back. I don't know what happened, but but out with the drop down and the enzigiri. But out from the top rope, looking for something big here. Is the oh the leg drop misses. Back in the ring here. Jackson Knight busted wide open. Tries for a Spanish fly, but elbows to the side of the head to stop that attempt. Knight picks him up. Diamond cutter. No, the sliced bread on Fidel. One, two, no. Goes to the top. Jackson, shooting star press. One, two, no. The former world champion kicks out at two. And hitting the neck breaker there. Sweeps the leg from the, oh, into the cross face. But a rope break, a common, a common trend in Fidel's career here in BPW. Getting the rope break when he uh, tries to go for that submission, that that cross face. Every time he's ever tried for it, it almost always ends up with a rope break. Drop kicks him in the corner, charges across the ring, and another big drop kick by Knight. Fidel with a fireman carry takeover. Lifts him back up. Cobra clutch. Cross face. Oh, wait a minute. Could have decent enough positioning here. He's just out of reach of the ropes enough to not get a rope break. But he might be able to reach forward while he's able to break out with some well-placed elbow strikes. Uh, lifts him up on the shoulder, brings him to the corner for the snake eyes on the buckle. Crosses the legs here. Stomps out the back of the head. Once again, crosses the legs for that stomp. This time on the outside. Smashes his face into the floor. Put out of the top. Big elbow drop to nothing. But he still has enough to fight back. Irish whips him into the ropes. Drops down. Leapfrog. It's a Geary again. Crosses the legs into a knee snap there. He's in the corner, charges in, drop kicks him. And just like we saw with Jackson Knight, he's doing the same thing for another drop kick. These two are mimicking each other's offense, but an Enzigiri, as you saw earlier, an Enzigiri from Fidel, but this time from Jackson. Drops the knee on the arm. Kick the knee, chops City. Brings him up, but no, Fidel drops down behind. Scorpion death drop. This is that knee drop. Jackson. Herc and Rana. Shooting star gets blocked with the knees is now. But hell, drop kicks him down. Drop tries to go for that Cobra clutch. 
And now Jackson with a suplex. Took the leg though. Fidel going to the corner, going up top. Calls for him to stand to his feet. Let's see what Fidel has in mind. Big something. Drop kicks him down. Cover, I guess. They got it too. To the chest. Knight slingshot leg drop over the rope. Sorry. Spring catches up from the head with the legs with the head scissors takedown. Knocks it down but goes for the cover. One, two, three. Jackson Knight picks up a big win in his debut here. Congrats are in order for Jackson's successful debut here. Now we move on to what I believe is our main event, if I remember correctly and I didn't miss up the card. Yes, it is main event time. Here we go, Kristen Adams makes her way to the ring. And I believe uh, this is a big opportunity, but I don't think she's focused on the opportunity of beating a champion. I think she just wants to fight Amber Reed once again. As in the lead up and the announcement of the match, her only response was, I, are, honestly, violence against the champion. is scheduled for yeah. one fall, making her way to the ring from Rio Linda, California, Kristen Adams. And as you see her making her way to the ring here, Amber Reed, the pure champion. Two-time pure champion. And 
being accompanied by Jacob Wells, who we just saw earlier tonight, but very different aspect here on this entrance. Whereas when you saw it earlier, he was the leader of the clergy, leading the group to the ring. With Amber, he's letting her take the lead. She is the pure champion, and uh, these two seem to have the most respect out of the two, all four members, well, all five members. Sorry, of the clergy, these two seem to have the most respect for each other. And it's no uh, no coincidence that the two people that seem to have the most respect for each other have done almost equal parts in VPW uh, as the other has done. I mean, both are former world champions. Both have held the X Division championships. And, of course, Amber, a former tag champ on the women's side, as well as a former tag champ on the men's side. She's holding the pure championship here, and that's the equivalent to that on the men's side would be the Intercontinental. They have they've both held the television title at different points, and it's just so similar but also so different, which is why I think they respect each other and keep the group going but Kristen does not care about the clergy stuff that's going on in behind the scenes or just in general on screen in VPW as a whole she's just trying to make an impression on the VPW audience and take out the pure champion possibly securing a shot at the pay-per-view as she hits that shooting star press lifts her up goes for that kick but gets blocked oh, catches the leg sweeps the other Kristen drops the knee on the arm, lifts and lifts up Amber, but Amber with a big headbutt. Reed gets caught. Big form of the face, catches the waist lock. Knees to the back into a scorpion death drop. But Kristen's only uh, had a few matches and hasn't had the best win-loss record. I think she has a, uh, a bright enough future here. A win against Amber Reed is a big stamp on your record in VPW, but we've seen what's happened to competitors who come into VPW and beat Amber Reed in their first matches against her. I mean, look what happened with Brittany Blake. She had a match with Amber. And if I remember correctly, won that first match, which led to numerous matches between the two of them. Some bloody warfares and also elimination chambers. And now Kristen, so oh, fakes out Reed. Would have been a mistake though, as uh, Amber immediately has her up on the shoulders here. Wait a minute, Reed. Oh, sends her into the barricade. Sending Amber in the ring and getting in. Gets caught as soon as she does, though. Knee to the face. Speaking of knees, again, that knee to tee. Amber has a hold of Kristen. Oh, the next snap. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. The Japanese arm drag. This is that shiny wizard. Kristen. Oh. Amber. Oh, fakes out the chop into the DDT. Goes for the cover here. One. No. Kristen's able to pick out at one.
Over to the top, looking for a dive to the outside. And she does with the Meteora. Ducks under the kick, catches her on the other end. The determination of the champion right now to cause damage to the challengers. The chairs go through the guardrail. And Amber sends Kristen into the steps. Five. Just throwing her around the ringside area. No care whatsoever at this point. Literally taunting at her. Takes out the knee. Amber with a DDT on the floor. Spikes her on the on the outside. Three. Four. Big roundhouse kick. Rip court into the Spanish fly. Tried to catch her with that cross body. And Amber gonna make her pay with that neck breaker, the air raid crash neck breaker. Center slightly of the ring. One, two, no. Opening the leg, but it wasn't enough. But this might be no. Kristen blocks. This is the shining wizard. It's that knee to the face this time, but not the one she was looking for earlier. Clothesline in the buckle. Kristen. Choking her with the boots. Has her down in the corner. And drops the knees to the chest. This is roundhouse kick by Amber Hits. Irish whip into the rope. Tilt world. DDT spikes her. Lifts her up, but. Tristan with that dragon screw leg lift, knocking her down to the to the mat, lifts her up once more. Tristan roundhouse kicks the punches, just landed the bell clap. Everything is going right for Tristan. She just needs to keep it going. Flips her over. Drop kicks the head. To the top. 6 30. Centon. One, two, no. Another round kick. Sends her to the ropes now as she's back in the driver's seat. Drops down into that German suplex with a bridge. One. Two, no. Reed catches her. Boot to the chin. Goes after the leg, keeping her down. Notice how she went for the more exposed knee of Kristen as well. Big right, and again, no, this time Amber reverses. Amber bringing her all the way across the ring to the detriment of her own momentum. Which have you got though? Kristen catches her. Amber though reverses with some elbows. Kick to the gut. Kristen lifts her up. The round of kicks, they land. Ducks under. Schoolboy and Zagiri. All but Reed with a boot to the face. Double boots to the face. Irish whips. Drop, leapfrogs. And the knee strike to the face. That could be it. The knees are deadly. One, no. 
champion confused here. The one count is all she got. Crystal Bell with a kick to the gut. Lifts her up. Turns her around for the bitter end. Could that be it for the pure champion here? One, two, no. Six thirty. Sent on once again on the champ center of the ring. One, two, no. Amber's able to kick out a two. If there's a will, there's a way. And Amber is showing there's a way to get through this matchup right now. Root to the gut though by Kristen as she's trying to end this one. Butterflies the arms for the pedigree. One, two, three. Amber Reed has just been defeated by Kristen Adams here tonight. The pure champ may have just discovered a new challenger, a possible new contender even. Here is your winner, Kristen Adams. It's not very often that Amber Reed gets defeated in non-title match scenarios. Or not, not in any match to be fair. So what a win for Kristen here. But I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank our partners, Joshi Star Wrestling, Battlefront Industry, LGF, WPW, and FIC. Check them all out in the tags on our uh, going live post on Twitter. If you follow us on Twitter, if not, go follow us at VelocityPW. And I want to thank you guys for watching yet again, and good night.